it was something that was so persistent yes. that you just decided there has to be a solution. Yes, this community, for example, mm -hmm. we had a lot of animals killed mm -hmm. by, by lions and everything. We had lions, we had hyenas and everything. But now the responsibility of having to look after my father's cows yes. is what really pushed me to finding this solution. solution. Yes. It, it became as a, it started off as a local a local problem uh -huh. here, but it went on becoming a global solution. Yes. So now because now we have lion lights uh, all over. Yes. All over the world. All we have lion lights in Argentina. Mm. We have lion lights in, in, in India mm -hmm. for tigers. Mm -hmm. So what started off as a as a Kitengela story yes. now went to become a global solution. Yes. yes. So what was it? So what does lion lights do? So uh, I want to take you back mm -hmm. to when the when the now buffaloes come, <laughs> when the buffaloes come to your doorstep now and they're there. What happens is um, when when these animals like the zebras and the buffaloes come this side, mm -hmm. the lions are left in the park, not fed. Uh -huh. They come to the communal land, uh -huh. and when they come to the communal land, yes. they find our sleepy cows as easy prey. <laughs> they attack the cows at night. You find that uh, we find that before lion lights, we never used to sleep. Really? Yes, we never used to sleep. We used to take turns to oh. look after the cows because you would go sleep one minute like this, lion imifika. So ikifika, come out, you're the one on duty that night. What do you do? You chase it. And you chase a lion. Yeah, you chase a lion, and if you have to, have to, then you have to spare it. You know where to aim. Yeah. Are you seeing how? Are you seeing how my eyes want to drop? So it's so yes. fascinating for me. So you see a lion and you actually go to save, save your cow. cow. So many lions have been killed here. Uh, killed here. How do you work together with KWS? Because the lions, you know, that's their. They protect them, and then there's the Maasai community saying your lions are not coming to my cows. They're not coming to my cows. Uh -huh. So th th there's there's uh, this particular area. Uh, the KWS has been working here for oh, over, yeah. I think, even before I was born. Okay. Because it's an area, it's a dispersal area. Right. It's, it's an area where animals come during the the, the dry, the wet season, they ah. breed here, they go back to the park. So this area has been really almost like a protected area. Right. But it's just that the community lives here. So ah. the KWS has, has been working here. Right. But there hasn't really been a sustainable solution to address the issue. Right. And that is why Lionless came in now. Uh -huh. So... When when now the when the when the lions now come and they kill the, the animals, <laughs> and now Richard Turere is a boy who is now responsible responsible to look after his father's cows because that's how it is for the rest of the people in the community. You grow up, you grow up. You, by the time you are nine years old, you are you are charged. You are charged to go out and and look after the cows, and you have to make sure they're safe because you, when your dad comes, he'll ask you, uh -huh. where were you when my cow was killed? By lion. Where were you when this happened? So. So how do you do it? Like, like, do you like jump up when you have a spear? Like, like, what's 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 the pose? Becoming a Maasai warrior is is hard. Yeah. It's not easy. It's not easy. Uh -huh. So um, let me tell you my story. By personally, my personally my story. Yeah, sure. So, you know now with the whole human wildlife conflict, lions would come here. They kill the cows. They'd go back. It was a whole uh, uh, issue. When growing up, I was I was really fascinated. I really love technology. I really love technology. I was that young boy at the age of like nine. I was breaking things here yeah. at home. Yeah. My mom, I used to fight her with her every day. I would, she would buy a TV, <laughs> I would open it the next day. <laughs> because I just wanted to see what was inside the, the TV, what was inside the TV. You were curious. I was just, I had this very curious mind when, yes. I, was, uh, when I was young. Yes. So I used to break things, I used to uh, put them back, and that is how I, I really taught myself things. By breaking things and putting them back, I started teaching myself uh, about electronics and right. everything. I was, a, I was a boy where, like, if, you're, if your radio broke or your phone broke they in the community, you. I, they bring it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you charging them? No, no, not really. It was just, like, I was just having fun. I was right. Just, I was just having fun. Okay. So by doing that, I really started learning a lot, yeah. started learning a lot, and, and also had that uh, curious mind to just go out there and learn more. So one day I was just sitting around, mm -hmm. and I was like, this conflict has mm -hmm. been there. Like, how, how, what is the other ways we can look at this? What is the other ways we can do this? I remember one of the things that I started doing yeah. was very simple. I used to light up uh, fires around the cow shed. Uh, I used to collect car tires. Uh -huh. the, you know, when you use your car and it's yes. spoiled, I used to collect them, uh -huh. and I would light them around the uh -huh. cow shed. 
because like you know is that uh is that uh notion kwamba the lions are afraid of fire yes. and then used to light up the fire uh-huh. and it didn't work they're not afraid of they're fire they're not afraid of fire Eh. They're not afraid of fire. Eh. Eh, and actually, my mom was making fun of me. She was telling me that ah, unakshe a moto na joko na muangaza si mi na na ilengo beni no no. So now, so that I can't. The other thing I started to do is after the fire didn't work, I yeah. took one gas scarecrows. I used to plant scarecrows around uh, the cow shed. So okay. that you're tricking the lion that yes. you're there. Yes. Hey, it worked for a few days, uh-huh. but now also lions are very smart. I've oh. come to know that lions are very smart. Okay. They would come. They would realize that. Ah, uyu, we see you mutu. Na kuanga tu amesimama hivi na hiyo posture hivi. The whole time. <laughs> the whole yeah, time. Yeah. So, it didn't work. It worked for a few days and then the lions got used to it. Mm. There's something interesting and it was very something very simple. Okay. And um, you know when you used to walk around, like when you used to take turns to go look after the animals, the lions don't come. So, nikajiuliza, why don't these lions come? Uh-huh. It's because they see us walking around. For example for you right now uh-huh. if you have your garden uh-huh. and you're trying to chase away animals that are come to eat your garden yeah. so you walk with a normal touch uh-huh. yes. that, that's the only way the animals would know that you're there yes. your presence is there yes so I was like ah the only reason why these lions don't come is because they can see that I'm there uh-huh. and the only way they see that I'm there is because they can see my flashlight uh-huh. and they can see my movement moving around I was like hmm. Hmm. now why don't I why don't I find something that can move that torch instead of me Mean and then enjoy my sleep. <laughs> oh my god. That is how Lion Light started. The Lion Light is as simple as that. There's nothing it's not rocket science. It's nothing it's nothing hard. We also seem to hear rocket science uh, stuff. Uh, uh, uh. And that is and that is a problem that we have. We usually we think that the biggest problems in the world should be fixed with really complex uh, solutions. 